Hello, this is Bill McAfee. I'm the president of Empire Title Company, giving you the monthly economic update from the Pikes Peak Multiple Listing System, the Clerk and Recorder, and the Public Trustee. For those of you that have seen my videos before, you never know what's going to happen. Today I'm going to pay, play it, pay it totally straight, okay? No funny business. Going through this, so this is the stats for August. If you look here, we had 4,104 sales or active listings. Now, what's interesting, on a running average, notice we're still at well over a 10-year low on the number of homes that's available for sale. So I'm going to tell you a little story here. It's not about a man named Jed. I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. So going on, the, the number of sales, we had 1,111. And again, if you look at this on a running average, our sales, we're running back to the peak years that we did in 06 and 07. Keep in mind, we just looked at the number of listings is at a 10-year low. It goes back to the old supply and demand. We simply don't have the homes uh, the, to keep up with the demand that's there. This is what interest rates have done. They jumped a little bit at the end of last year. They've gone down. A word of caution, the, the Federal Reserve is saying they're going to stop buying mortgage-backed securities um, as of October. So who's going to fill that void in buying those securities? We don't know yet. We're not sure how it's going to affect the market, but just something to throw out there. Um, looking at days on market, uh, this was actually, you can see that we're down right now. Um, this was earlier in the year, about March. Uh, this is where we're at. And again, what's happening is it's simply a, a supply of our market. We just don't have the supply for the demand. Uh, months of inventory. This is a great leading indicator. Notice we're at about 4.6 months. Anything below this six month area right here is good. And what that tells me, at least in the near future, and I'm saying probably over the next year, barring any crazy events in the world, uh, we're probably going to be pretty steady here, especially the 250 and 300,000 and below. Months of inventory had an interesting thing happen. The inventory levels and everything of two or 300 and below dropped down, and we were already at levels that are extremely low. And what that's going to mean, you're going to see it at what it's doing to the prices. It's really pushing price up because, again, for the demand that's there, we don't have the supply. You throw that with interest rates still being very good, that's a great mix for a real healthy real estate market. Um, one thing I want to point out is the cash deals are 15%. What that's telling me is the investors really still aren't in our market here. Now, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one, the bank owned inventory has literally dried up. And even at our public trustee sale now, there's a lot of competition for very few homes. Um, this is going to sum the whole thing up. Notice 4.2 and 4.5%. That's the appreciation that we've had through the end of September. Uh, in May, that was flat, so it's really grown since then. So the year kind of started out slow. Everything 300 and below is still moving like hotcakes. 750 and above is still very rough. One of the things that's going to be, you need to contact uh, your local real estate professional to try to figure out how to price it in this market. And for you buyers, in that low inventory, which we just showed in the low end, especially 250 and below, on those you're going to have to act quickly because there's just not a lot there. 750 and above, hate to say it for you sellers, <laughs> could be a long winter. Um, looking here, residential units sold. Believe it or not, we're still about 1.3% behind where we were last year. I look that we're probably going to end up about the same as we did last year based on what we're seeing right now. I see a pretty healthy demand through the end of the year. Um, inventory levels are up only slightly, not even 1%. Again, the inventory levels, that calculation between how many homes have sold in the previous 12 months, what's available for sale. So we're up slightly from last year. Number of listings is up 7.5%, but keep in mind we're still on a running average at a 10-year low, so we still don't have a lot of homes available. Um, foreclosures are way down. The average days on market is down. Interest rates are good. Um, they're actually dropping slightly right now. So for you buyers in that market, that 300 and below, uh, you're really going to have to compete. Uh, for you sellers in that market, you can push your prices some. But keep in mind, in that 250 and below, $5,000 in pricing will be the difference getting your house showed and not having it shown. 750 above, and especially a million and above, I hate to do this, but if you're selling in that range, your house is going to have to be in perfect condition, and it is going to have to be priced at a bargain because we just have way too much inventory in that 750 and above. So again, for Bill McAfee and Empire Title, uh, this is your monthly update. Uh, thanks, and hope this is helpful.